Hello, my name is Peter, and in this video I'll try to explain something about the slip curves of uh, the GT tires in GTR2. First off, we need to establish what a slip curve is or a slip angle. Here's a short explanation. Picture in your mind a car that is going in a straight line. The tires have no camber, and the toe is at 0, 0.0. No toe in and no toe out. This car is 100% neutral. This car has a zero degree slip angle on all of its four tires. Now we're going to focus on the front tires. Let's say the driver starts steering the car 20 degrees to the left. So he puts in 20 degrees of left steering. The car is traveling quite fast at 200 kilometers per hour. So it doesn't have the grip to turn 20 degrees immediately. Instead, the front wheels starts to slide. Now the difference between the car's direction and the steering angle, the 20 degrees of left steering on the front wheels, that is the slip angle. But there is such a thing as an optimal slip angle. That is a degree of attack in relation to the road that will generate the most grip. And these angles are different for all kinds of tires. Now in this video I'm going to focus on the GT tires of GTR2. And we're only going to focus on the dry tires. So uh, we have nine different compounds soft, medium and hard, Michelin, Dunlop and Pirelli. Now you're welcome to uh, check the numbers in the GTR2 tire files as I move along through this. All the tire files are located in the Teams folder and they all have the ending .tyr, so open one and follow along. For some reason all the GTR2 tires uh, have the maximum slip angle at the 11th coordinate, so all of them, number 11, that has the max. You'll also notice there are three different slip angles. There is acceleration, braking, which are all the horizontal forces, and then there is one for the lateral. We'll not concentrate on acceleration and braking. Also, it is worth noticing if you open one of the files that the braking and the accelerating, the numbers match exactly the lateral uh, slip angle numbers. So as the numbers match, I didn't find it necessary to walk through the accelerating and braking. Whether this is real or good or bad or whatever, we won't discuss here and I have no opinion. In this video I'm going to focus on the numbers and I'm going to explain to you what they do. And mainly the product of this video is to show the difference between the different kinds of tires and compounds so that you can make the right tire choice for the right job. Also you will notice if you've opened the files and are following along that all of the tires have 237 points of data. Now I find this rather peculiar. It also means that while you can see how the curve behaves, you can't really use the numbers to say that is the optimal slip angle, because who would know? And if anyone does, you're welcome to comment, but I can't figure out what these degrees relate to in actual degrees of attack. Now let's crunch the numbers on this and see what it all comes down to. Now all different tire brands have three different compounds, a soft, a medium and a hard. And naturally, uh, the softer compound is the one with the more grip, and the harder compound is the one with the less grip. And what I did was take the grip numbers for front and rear tires, average that out, and multiply that by the slip curve, so we should know what kind of grip we should expect at the different levels. And what comes out is this nice little graph here, where we can see that while the Michelin and Dunlop curves are quite similar, and the Dunlop curve starts a little higher with a little better grip on all three compounds. It quickly wears off and goes underneath the Michelin. And then what's really interesting is the Pirelli compound. It's significantly higher than the Michelin. The Pirelli soft compound is at low slip is similar to the Dunlop soft compound. But then as you start to go sideways, the grip just falls off exponentially until it flattens out. And then in the end, at very high degrees of slip, the Pirelli tire is again the best tire. So if you're going to drive excessively sideways, <laughs> I'd, I'd recommend the Pirelli tire. Now what it means is that if you drive really straight and you're driving a car with high downforce, the Pirelli tire will deliver the best grip. That is what this means. Now if you're not going to drive straight and you're going to drive a little bit sideways, depending on how sideways you're going to go, uh, you still have the choice between the Michelins and the Dunlop, since they are pretty similar at the start of the curve, and uh, definitely the Dunlop soft tire is a lot better than the Michelin soft tire. 
So, Michelin soft tires, not a very good soft tire. Michelin medium tires, pretty good tire, has uh, high degrees of grip as you start to slide and has higher levels of grip than the Michelin in the Pirelli tires. The Michelin hard tire, I'd say uh, this is the best Michelin compound since it performs way better than the Dunlop hard tire and also performs much much better than uh, the Pirelli hard tire when it comes to a certain degree of slip. But if you're driving straight, Pirelli tires, that's the tire for you. Now, this is all good when we're talking about slip and we haven't taken speed into account. Because what GTR2 does is it reduces uh, the grip level as the speed goes up. The faster you go, the less grip you'll have. And this is also different for all the different kinds of tires. So let's look at the next graph where I've taken into account the speed. And here we're going at 200 kilometers per hour. Again, the blue uh, lines are the Michelin tires. The yellow lines are the three different Dunlop compounds and the green lines are the Pirelli compounds. And uh, what you'll see here is that you will get significantly more grip from uh, the Dunlop soft tire. And you'll also see that all three soft tires have better grip on the x-axis here is use of the tire. So this is the wear rate on the x-axis. See, the more you wear the tire, the further you go right on the axis and the further down the grip goes on all tires. But you'll notice that the soft tire at a certain point will have less grip than a medium tire at the same usage level. What this means is soft tires are good in the beginning and then they go worse in the end than both medium and hard tires. Uh, what you'll notice here also is the graph that starts out the worst is uh, the Michelin hard compound which has the least amount of grip and as you follow the graph along you'll see that when it starts to be used enough the Michelin hard compound will be even better than both the Pirelli and the Dunlop medium compound. So if you're doing long stints or thinking about double stinting your tires Michelin hard compound that's the tire for you. Uh, how this relates to the wear rate in the game and uh, the known 30 scale with the tire warning message I don't know and I don't know where that point is on this graph but that sh you could look into that and try to see and try to measure by measuring your lap times if if this point where the Michelin hard tires becomes better uh, than almost any other tire is too late uh, after the 30 to be used for anything good but this is really the interesting uh, numbers you get out of this also notice how uh, how the Michelin uh, soft tire is not as good as uh, as both uh, the Pirelli and Dunlop tire. And you'll also notice how the Pirelli soft tire in duration is the best soft tire. Um, at a certain point, it will develop more grip than both the Michelin and Dunlop tire. So if you're going to drive long stints on soft tires, you should use Pirelli tires because overall you'll get the best result. That's also nearly true for medium tires, but if you wear them out excessively, again, the Michelin soft tire, uh, Michelin medium tire will be the best choice. I say again, these numbers are taken straight from the game, and this is how the thing relates. The thing that develops uncertainty about this graph is the relation to the actual tire wear in the game and where on this graph, where in the duration of usage on this graph that the 30 wear relates to. But I hope this has been uh, enlightening. And I hope uh, people can use this. There's not much room for discussion. As I said, the numbers are taken from the game. But if you find something I did not mention here, I'd like to hear about it. So leave a comment. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>